Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this. This is Daily Presso for the 15th of January 2019. Sorry about my hood being up. I'm absolutely cold as shit. Uh, with that in mind, I'm joined by Patrick and Dee on this chilly, chilly Tuesday evening, guys. I... The fuck? Um, I'm, I don't know what that was, but I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty. <laughs> I'm, I'm well. Uh, that's very usual. It's fucking warm here. I, I envy you, but you're cold. The thing is, yeah, I said this. I said this the other night. I was like, when it's really cold, you're like, oh, dude, I wish it was warm. And when you're warm, you're like, oh, I wish I was cold. I wish I was a bit chilly. Like, there's, no, there's no winning with English. I'm people. telling you, I'm telling you. I think like someone in one of my housemates just snapped the thing on our boiler, so it's just constantly heat, and I'm dying. <laughs> Honestly, it feels like it feels like like it should be cold as shit, but because it's cold, it's really cold outside, but it's boiling inside. And I'm like wearing shorts. Hmm. <laughs> like, Yes, freezing outside, man. Yeah, the thing is, at least you'll save some money with the electric. You don't have to put the electric on. No, I'm well, okay. I'm pretty chilly right now, man. We got snow on the ground outside, man. It's pretty much first snow of the fucking winter, man. I don't like that shit at all. Well, hey, us happy bunch. And now I'm going to do a mini little show for you guys where we're going to give you a guide to Japanese wrestling that's not New Japan. Okay, so everyone knows all the history of New Japan, but lots of people do know information about other promotions so that's what we're going to do if you're listening live please feel free to smash bash and trash the live comments know what you guys want to talk about um is am i uh, yeah we get cool it's funny or they think they know the history of new japan but that's it hey, hey, let's, <laughs> let's not insult these people let's not insult these people let's not insult them they're very intelligent folks um so then we're going to be covering one two three four five six six companies we're going to cover all japan big japan ddt dragon gate noah and freedoms um we cover all six on a regular basis Minus when I don't go out and party too much. But Rockstar Lifestyle, guys. Rockstar Lifestyle. So don't mind. What one do you want to start off with, guys? What are you feeling? Uh, I guess the one we cover the most, All Japan. I think it's yeah. got to be done. I think it's got to be done. Uh, you can watch All Japan on AJPW.TV, monthly subscription service. 900 yen, correct? Yep. Yeah. Which is the equivalent of what? Six, six pounds? Yeah, six pounds. Fifty-six, something like that. So North American. Yeah. So that's what seven bucks American. Yeah, seven to seven to ten dollars American. So either way, seven to ten bucks, not too bad. And it's basically um, the layout is exactly like New Japan World. So if you can work out New Japan World, you can work out all Japan. Um, good streaming service, I think. It's not the best one, um, but it's definitely not the worst out of the list of ones we're going to cover. And we're going to talk a little bit about streaming service when we come to know. And I'm sure that's going to be the best topic. Um, that's going to go on for six hours. Um, so. All Japan TV, get it, and it airs all the shows live, as well as most of them, if I'm right, on demand. So you're guaranteed to always have at least one show airing all the time, correct? Yeah, it's pretty great for on demand. It's uh, basically, if anyone understands what, um, how NJP World works, it's basically still the same format as that. Um, except it's just the arc, the... Um, the archive stuff like old old the older wrestling isn't owned by them or Gaora Sports. So unlike an NGP world where you can go and watch the stuff from the seventies, eighties, nineties, etc., you can't do that on on AJPW TV. The furthest you can go back is like two thousand sixteen or something. Yeah, that's that's probably the biggest downfall with the with the um, streaming service for all Japan is the the lack of back catalog. I mean, if my they answer to that though too is like as far as the people who like you know the lack of the lack of the archive. Honestly, like people like us, we've probably seen a lot of the you know great all time all Japan. Yeah, all that stuff, all, most of that stuff you can find. Like yeah, you can stuff, find most of that stuff you, everywhere. You gotta, you know? you gotta so dig like, a little deeper to find full shows and things like that. But if you want to just find notable matches from the eighties and nineties all Japan, that. It's like the most recognized era of Japanese wrestling, so it's not exactly hard to find. I'm glad you brought that up, P. Uh, do you think, well, I mean, it's kind of hard for you guys to kind of gauge that because you guys don't live in my country, so it's kind of hard to, for me to ask you, ask you guys this question. But do you think uh, 90s All Japan is almost like this, how they how it is revered, is almost as revered as like the fucking Attitude Era? It's different. I mean, it's definitely yeah, different as opposed to like product, but I'm just talking about as far as reverence. Revered in a different way. Oh yeah, because um, I can picture some people not enjoying it. Like, because because not the same way I could picture it. some people not enjoying the attitude era. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's in the tab. Like, it's like some people like this, some people like that. I like the mixture of both. Um, but 
No, I think it, if you want to go for a streaming service that gives you good, solid content all the time, consistently, um, All Japan's definitely a good recommendation. Again, there's, there's no affiliation to any of these promotions, by the way. It's just well, what say, with, uh, yeah, well, what's with JPW TV is it's very good if you don't have good internet. Like, if you have, like, NJP World or Dragon Gate or whatever, if your internet is poor, a lot of them, like, I mean, poor, poor, like, it struggles for AJ, yeah, yeah, AJP... AJPW TV seems like it could be it would play fine if a hamster was powering it. Like honestly, like it it does not require much to uh, we've had in the history of AJP I've, I've been signed up to it since since it began and we've had three uh, technical issues. Um we had one where in Osaka at the big Osaka show where the stream basically cut off for the first 10 15 minutes of the show um another one was where it was ishikawa versus zeus and zeus's first tile defense and the fit it cut out as the finish was happening and then there was there may have been one more but apart from that it's very smooth actually i feel bad for those i feel bad for those happened because it's an incredibly smooth website apart from that really easy to navigate as I said, the same format as NJP World. So if you can navigate that, you can navigate this. In fact, it's even easier. The translation system is way better. Easier. And one thing yeah. it has over New Japan World, in my opinion, is whenever you're watching the show, I know, like, especially me, <laughs> if I'm not sitting there watching the show live, um, I'm going to have to watch the show in parts and in intervals. So Some when you're watching the show, in, yeah, in, NJP World, it has no mark for where you were. And All Japan, you know, All Japan TV, they have exactly where you left off the, you know, exact minute. So that's, like, huge for me. Yeah, some people hate that. Some people like it. Um, obviously, you, if, uh, you if you, hate- a lot of people are count share. So if the friend has left it um, on the finish and you click on and Kento Miyahara is holding up the Triple Crown Championship, you're like, oh, for fuck's sake. See, for those people, all I say is just remember to, like, <laughs> like I try to do, just remember to rewind it. But, oh, damn, let me go ahead and rewind this to the beginning or something. You know? I agree. I think it's excellent. It really helped during the Champion Carnival because in that Champion Carnival, you got a lot of these house shows and then long and you don't always it me kind of for me is like sort of during the middle of lectures like like when i have full lectures so i can't be watching full shows at a time so i gotta come pick and choose i can come back to it and it's really helpful helpful in that aspect so things like Champy Carnival for people who don't know that's all japan's equivalent but basically the g1 um it's very helpful in that aspect and when does that show is it when does it, isn't it april or march yeah march yeah, yeah. march yeah, around that. So, so that's coming up. So I think now will be a great time to dive in. To Just you know, it, yeah, this is going to be their biggest champion carnival ever. There's one well, not ever, sorry, in the last since in the modern era. Yeah, because aren't they doing more shows? Correct. Yeah, more shows. Should be exciting. Yeah, didn't can... last year they did the record for the most attendance and the most amount of shows, and they're obviously going to break that next year, or presumably in the this modern year. era. Yeah, um, they sold out. Um, Sold out Korok and yeah, the final wasn't it the final two nights they completely rammed. It usually, yeah, it usually starts at the start of April, uh, finishes the end of April, and they absolutely yeah they sell you know and me and a few other people sort of been saying that they should um, they should run the final day at Sumo Hall. Um, it should be their Sumo Hall show. I actually one hundred percent agree with that. I think that's yeah, a really really good show. That's a good show because the way they the way yeah. they work is. So they do tours. They all have weird names like Excitement Series Tour. Like they they got some shitty names. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, some funny names of, of tours. And it's like a new it's like a new Japan like a new Japan tour. So you have the beginning is like the road to the build, and then at the the final show of that tour is where you have your tar matches and your big matches. Simple. Yeah, they don't Simple. really like for as far as all Japan, they don't really have like big show shows. They just have like big tours. Yeah, I agree, and they just build up during that tour. I, I love the way how they do it. And then I like the way how they give you a bit of a break as well. They usually give you about a week or a week to 10 days break in between their tours and their next tour coming up. Um, it will be the be- a bit the equivalent of the best of super juniors, the junior battle of glory, which is um, where they started last year, wasn't it? If I'm right for new for all Japan TV, Patrick. So we're coming up to the point where it's nearly been a year now since the inception of the, of the fucking sick streaming service, the all Japan. Yeah. Someone, um, Pointed out the other day that um, before had all Japan, if AJP 
PWTV didn't it still didn't exist, we would have got to have seen Kai versus Miyahara the day before yesterday. Bloody hell, that is mental. Wow. And that was a banger. Um, so let's go run down. We'll go to the major championship because all Japan have seven tiles. And it can't be, not that can't be fucked, but we'll be here all night if we break down every tile from every fucking company. Um, so we'll see the Triple Crown is the equivalent of, a, of their main championship, their main prize. Um, and that's held by Ken, Kento Miyahara, who is the ace of the company. This is fourth tile reign. And he is, we, what we, used to, we used to call him, if you combine Kenny Omega and Kazuchi Okada, you get... Kento Miyahara. I think that's a fair. Is that a fair description? No, I wouldn't say We so. do. That's what we used to say. That's what we used to yeah, say. Yeah, but mm, I wouldn't say so. Look, I can, look, after, look, after, ability, after, that's, look I can like. see what I can see both of those arguments because, but uh, they him and Kenny Omega don't really don't wrestle a lot alike. But he doesn't really wrestle anything like Okada. He doesn't either. really wrestle like Okada. No, he doesn't really look wrestle like either. Look, look wise, like character wise, look wise. Mm, he isn't. He isn't a stereotypical ace look, I guess. And he was. He, he's more, way more like Tanahashi. Yeah, Tanahashi. Yeah. yeah. Like Tanahashi. But are you much younger and a much quicker and much fucking? Pace is completely but... different what? to Okada. Um, no, no, I'd say more like Tanahashi. Um, who, by the way, he wants to um, face in some form, probably in a tag match of some kind at the. Baba, uh, giant Baba anniversary show. So, is that going to be aired anywhere? By the way, uh, yeah, that's that's hazy right now. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you like, mean, is, is, what do you mean is hazy? It's hazy in that someone it's supposed to have somewhere, but it's not on the schedules of any of the. It's not on the schedules of Girl or um, Samurai G Plus, etc. Okay, that's interesting. I hope they air it. I mean, someone somehow, some way, is going to air it. It always fucking happens. But yeah, hopefully they get a tag match in uh, with with um, Mihar and Tanashi in there because Mihar is actually amazing. Um, that face off would he, be amazing. Oh, that'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Like, because the thing is, we we know everyone knows, you know, Mihar ain't gonna get a New Japan. It's not how it's not how it works. He'll be with All Japan until the day he hangs up his boots, presumably, unless All Japan shut doors. But that ain't gonna happen because financially they had a great year. Attendance was great. Shows were absolute top draw stuff and. It's kind of a slower. How would you describe Ultraman Top Class who's never watched it? Kind of like a slow version of New Japan with great stories and fucking beastie wrestlers. Uh, I would say this me personally. If I were to describe both of these two, I would say this, this traditionally wise. Traditionally wise, um, New Japan has been more rooted in martial arts strikes and you know shoot holds and shoot submission holds per se. And I think. All Japan has been more of of kind of the Western est kind of the almost American style pro wrestling. Not saying it is American style pro wrestling, but I think it was kind of more or less you like rooted off of that when it was started. That's just how I look at it. Patrick. Yeah, he's basically Yeah, he's basically hit the nail on the head in terms of the roots of the in the foundation of it, in terms of what New Japan was built on compared to what Old Japan was built on, Baba's vision versus Anoki's vision. Um, now things are a little different because New Japan yeah. obviously works uh, sort of more of a modern American style. A more of a modern style would be the best way to put it. I don't know about American style. Old Japan tend to work a little more old school. Um, they're not much slower. Um, See, I've, I've played the pacing a little slower compared to the, uh, to the New Japan. Well, the New Japan main event style is incredibly slow. Uh, yeah, but dude, I'm not just I'm not comparing to a main event. I'm talking about the whole show as a whole is quicker. I can see what LK yeah. means on that. I can definitely, I can kind of see what he means because I don't know if the the people in New Japan kind of know what what eyes they have on their shows, but I do kind of think they're more faster paced. Now, I actually for show for show, if you want to put them up against each other. I tend to actually enjoy the Ultra Pain shows like thoroughly more than actual just like regular Row Two show. For it's going to compare just like regular house shows to house shows. Do you mean the pacing or like the speed of the work? Like pacing Pretty, uh, is different, I guess. I think the speed of the work, dude, and, and the thing is, yeah, like, yeah that's like, correct. But I mean, like, in terms yeah, of, like, yeah, like Will Ospreay's pacing if he's wrestling, if, like for example, but he's like he works fast, but if he's working like a forty-minute match, like. <laughs> Like so, so, like say, say training, they will go like, dude, slow it down. Like that doesn't mean like old you pace them. Old front, yeah. Old front's more methodical, I guess. More old school, just in that aspect. Yeah. Well. Like, psychology is usually top draw as well. I normally come in, don't I, and put over the psychology. There's a lot less sequence wrestling. 
yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, that's exactly it. It's not um, like, and I'm not a huge fan of spot fest in any way because it's not. But there's a lot less high spots and more build, 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 build. No, high that's yeah. a great point. Build, build. Okay, that's a great point because I was thinking I, I have really, I, I don't mind if I see it. I don't care if I do, don't see it. I have not seen any 450 splashes in all Japan. I mean, I'm just saying, I just thought about it. I was like, damn, I really haven't. Yeah, they don't use the top, even the juniors uh, don't use the top. And the junior, again, Battle of Glory, which is the equivalent of the best of super juniors, uh, is t- taking place in February, which we'll have coverage on, of course. Um, so we'll go to junior every week. So Koji Uamato. Is the current All Japan World Junior Champion. Um, he's fucking great. <laughs> like, how would you describe him? He doesn't high fly at all. No, at exactly. All. It's a very sound technical wrestler with a judo background, as far as I'm yeah. aware. Um, very skilled. Just very good to watch. Um, I don't know who I'd compare him to. In... He really has his own style. I couldn't really compare him to anybody that I've this seen. This guy's I can compare him to in, in other promotions, but I'm trying to think of New Japan uh, for the purpose of the video. Uh, th- this might sound crazy, but for New Japan, shit, I, Yuji Nagata. I was if you, if Yuji Nagata 30 years ago. Not 30 years ago, sorry, 20. <laughs> 30, what did There is a New Japan wrestler, but he works different. Right, okay, so... When I say Kanemaru to a New Japan fan, they don't know what they they think. Or oh, the guy who does all the shenanigans and sprays, uh, I'll call him was, But Kanemaru is obviously was one of the best worker Noah Junior workers of all time. He's more like Kanemaru, I guess. If you've seen, yeah. oh, that's good. That's a good shout. Uh, yeah, we'll go watch some Kanemaru stuff from mid two thousands. We did an old school match of his about a year ago, man. That match was banger. That was what it was. It was. It was. Um, it was Kenta. Kenta Marafuji against Kanemaru and Yosuke or, or Yoshi something. I can't remember the name exactly off the top of my head. But it was an absolute banger. It was a real banger of a match. It really, really was good. Um, tag division wise, um, Strong BJ, which is Daisuke's second moto. <laughs> the tag wrestling is excellent. They have oh, maybe the tag best tag, tag wrestling in the world. Um, it's pretty ridiculous. So, so Strong BJ, which is Daisuke Sekimoto and Yuji Akabashi uh, in their third title reign are the All Japan World Tag Team Champions. Uh, they knocked off the Violent Giants. Who are the is, best tag team in the world. Which are the best tag team in the world. <laughs> Shadow Down, which is Suwama and Shuji Shikawa. Um, dude, just a, it, it's just... I don't like saying it because I don't want to like pigeonhole them, but it's big men going at it, usually yeah. in the tag division. They can get the small guys in the main event. You know, they're still, you know, got like guys like Zeus who's built like fucking Goldberg. You got like really big dudes. And then you got the, the bulky, not as athletic, but fucking machines guys going at it in tag division. And it's absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm, probably appeal- it, I'm probably appealing here to a very niche uh, demographic of listeners. But if you're a pro wrestler, you'll like All Japan Pro Wrestling, would be the best way to, that would be one way to look at it. Like, it's very, it's very, it's very good pro wrestling in that, just in that sense, in terms of, it's not um, overtly flashy, but it's very good pro wrestling. This guys look legit. Everything about it looks sound. It's it's very good. If you want, if you're one of these, if you're maybe a little bit sick of some things, and I'm not saying you should be. Um, but there's certain f- aspects of more modern style, especially in America, um, don't irritate you, but you think, man, that's not really for me. All Japan's a very good one to go for. And honestly, they look at their landscape and even look at the t- people who are challenging for said titles. Like Miyahara, he has people coming for his belt. You got fucking, it could be Jake Lee coming for his belt. It, it could be like our, it's, it Nomura like coming for the belt. It looks like yeah. I'm, just, I'm just saying that the, the title challenges are pretty strong across the board for these belts because even if for the junior heavyweight title, you got Okada who just challenged for the belt, who was actually a fucking young, this amazing wrestler. Um, you got Sato out there who was a former champion last year, who at some point you would assume maybe would challenge for the title again. So yeah, you have people challenging for these championship belts, yeah. and then for the tag team titles, you like the former champs, Violent Giants. You have the team who won the tag league bomber out there, you know, waiting in the wings. So then you have uh, 
you you have uh Kento and you got a uh, uh, Yoshitatsu out there waiting in the wings if they get a title shot. So <laughs> they have Nomura and uh, Ayagi. They can get a title shot at the World Tag Team Titles. They're the all uh, Asia Tag Team Champions. Speaking yeah. of being champions, so yeah. So for those that don't know, uh, Junakiyama is the head booker, um, sort of somewhat along with Master Obe Fuji at uh, All Japan. And what he's very good at, what he's very good at succeed, succeeding, is um, uh, like keeping his making sure his top stars protecting his top heavyweights all Japan is very again my specialist book is very good at protecting his top heavyweights you get a lot of multi-man tags where you're very rarely going to see suwama miyahara ishikawa zeus during you're very 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 rarely going to see these guys take pins lee they're very good at protecting their uh their heavyweights to the point where and they do a lot of these singles matches where like Suwama will face like I know someone like Aoyagi and just absolutely destroy them or Nomura and there's a lot of that it's a lot of it's very good in that aspect you very you really feel like wins and losses definitely matter and it very much feels like it doesn't feel like oh um, this guy's done he's wasted he doesn't feel like he could challenge for the title like Joe Doring had a um, triple crown run not too long ago and then his Rain was basically cut short by Miyahara, and basically the reason behind that was because they were just about to launch AJW, AJW, AJPW TV, and they wanted their top guy on top. But even though he lost to Miyahara, because they've because he's taken so few lost so so few pins since then, like almost none, he could be thrown straight back into that tower picture anytime soon, and people won't bat an eyelid. Same yeah. with Suwama, who's Suwama looks like Suwama from a recent interview. Suwama wants to challenge for the Triple Crown. It might be Suwama versus Miyahara at that big Yokohama show. That's what it looks like, it looks like the direction they're going to go into. Suwama's been in the tag division for all this time, but still looks like he could top back in and you'd still think, holy shit, Suwama's got a legit chance at winning it. So they're very, very good at protecting their heavyweights. And that's actually good. I, that's something I do like too because. I'm not trying to compare these two guys, but let's just say this: like they're both in their 40s. Suwama and like I just brought him up early, like a Nagata. Like you said, Suwama can challenge for this triple crown belt. Like uh, Nagata is so far from their heavyweight title, it's like not even funny. And I like you said, I do like how All Japan books their heavyweights to where if they were set up for it a couple of wins, they could potentially potentially challenge for that triple crown heavyweight title. Yeah, and if Suwama's gonna take a pin, it's gonna be to Miyahara, or it's gonna be to Ishikawa, yep. or like. Or it's gonna be, it's gonna to, be to the top dude. Yeah, it's that's that's kind of how it is. Like, so they're very good at protecting it. Um, I, I just got to get your thoughts real quick because I because I love these titles we talked about being the triple crown, the world tag team, the all Asia, and the junior heavyweight title. But the other two titles, I'm not gonna lie, I could kind of do without. Or if they're like, yeah. we, won't, we don't have them anymore, if I wouldn't gonna, care. Honestly, yeah, if we're gonna do a pros and cons of each promotion and actually cr critically analyze them, then I guess or a few things. Yeah, as you said, the titles. It's just, <laughs> I think my personal opinion is this: they should just scrap the junior division in all Japan altogether. Mm. And that, um, I agree. But they don't, and so the junior division, they've got some really good wrestlers in there, Aoki, um, Iwamoto, as we said, um, Yuzuki Okada, who's just coming up. Um, they've got some really, really good wrestlers in there, but it's they don't do anywhere near as good a job of legitimizing it like they do the heavyweight division. Um, uh, outside of like the old Japan, more hardcore old Japan fans, there's not a lot of excitement for the junior big junior tile matches like there are um the heavyweights like you can get anyone and everyone talking about a Miyahara defense but <clears throat> that Iwamoto Okada one went somewhat under the radar apart from outside of like the more um hardcore Japan fans very fair very fair like the, the other day wasn't it during the um during the Kurokan, they didn't have their junior <clears throat> match go on. Yeah, it didn't go last. Yeah, and I thought it should have because it was a big rivalry as well. But oh, for those interested, uh, by the way, when we're saying it went last, it was two shows. The um, heavyweight main heavyweight title, the Triple Crown, was the next day. So I'm not saying it should have gone ahead of the Triple Crown. We're saying it should have gone ahead of the uh, tag titles match, which was the day before. 
exactly. Um, so yeah, that's kind of well, that's kind of it for Japan. Again, if you are listening live, please feel free to put what you wish in the in the live chat. And once we've uh, finished breaking down the companies, we'll we'll get to the live chat hundred and ten percent. Um, what, so that's all Japan. That's the one you got. Um, yeah, that's the one. If I'm if I have to recommend one to you, not the best streaming service, but of the ones that have streaming services, it's definitely the best promotion right now. It's great. The wrestling's for, very easy to get into. Miyahara wrestles a very exciting style. If you're not as comfortable with some of the other guys, you should be very comfortable with Miyahara because. He wrestles quite an electric style, and it's kind of hard not to be excited during a Miyahara match. He's very good at that, at getting people ex- like interested. So definitely give Ultra Fun uh, a try. Like it's it's really good, and like it. I can't really do this. It's it's maybe all round as a combination of having a streaming service, the amount of content it produces, the standard of wrestling, the booking. I actually said no was my favorite promotion last year, but no, it doesn't have a streaming service. So I think Ultra Japan is the best promotion in the world right now. You know what? Of what yeah. I watch. And, and again, I'm 100% this, and all, all Japan is, uh, me, me and Dilma are guaranteed to agree, this is the best promotion in the world that not, not people are talking about. Like, uh, uh, it's financially incredible, the growth that they've done. Um, attendance wise incredible but not just that the, the talent the loyalty of the wrestlers i fucking tilt my cap the talent of the wrestlers you know them signing talent now to contracts like shuji shikawa who is yeah. a big that is a big, that's yeah. a bigger deal than that like i should have made a video on that alone like it was a big deal with ishikawa signing with all japan um and it's just it the, like I, I remember watching it when it was like hardly any people at the K Hall, and it's kind of like you used to get to watch two or three shows a month, and now you get to watch the whole entire tour, and I, I feel privileged still. I still feel privileged every time I tell I'm like, yes, we get to watch the whole tour. It's like, excellent. It's one of the best things to happen to me as a fan in a very long time. It's it's a wonderful thing. Like there's so much live content as well. So much live content. It's just, and you don't have to watch all the shows. It's almost got to the point where, like, I remember I used to just, like, beg for an old Japan show to wear, and now there's so much, I'm just like, oh. God. <laughs> but, no, it's, things are also, oh, and we should probably mention they have, without question, the best Korokan shows of any promotion. Oh, absolutely. Like, these Korokans are always two hours, so you don't have to, like, they're always two hours. It's compact wrestling, and it's just nothing but good stuff. Like straight, just all the way. So, and yeah. they do. They don't. They don't have the tendency as well. Over, let's say if you get up live for you get to hear Kento Miyahara steam, whose steam is fucking fire, dude. Dude, that needs to be my alarm clock. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. Like sometimes they don't have these. You know, they do have long matches. You know, you thirty plus minutes. But sometimes they just have ten to twenty, and it's just, it's just fucking magnificent stuff. I can't put all Japan over enough. Really great tag stuff. league best example. Yeah, precisely. Not many matches went long, but they were still fucking great, which is good because they realise your time's precious. And you know what? I, I I love long long wrestling matches like the next guy, but sometimes a real good short banger of a match is just needed. It's just just needed. Um, where should we go next, boys? Um, let's go Dragon Gate. Um, this obviously is the Dragon Gate. Everyone knows about the Dragon Gate. Probably the most known out of the non-New Japan companies from Japan, obviously now with PAC being their Open the Dream Gate champion. Um, but there's lots of factions. That's the thing with Dragon Gate. It's a very, like, pretty much all Japanese wrestling is a very faction-driven company. you got R.E.D. in there, which are really big at the moment, with um, Patrick's favourite wrestler, Kaz- Kazuma Sakamoto. <laughs> um, but uh, they've got but they're big shows so he big sucks show. by the way before anyone googles him and starts getting <laughs> an opinion of me that <laughs> but the guy who who was um fucking tenzan's valet yeah H, not eight trains uh tenzan's <laughs> valet in any e is my favorite wrestler just kind of throw that out there <laughs> and um they're big they're big shows the kobe pricing festival um, that's their main show that they do um, really good sh- company if you like fast paced wrestling. Um, can we agree on that? It's kind of like that. Oh, absolutely. Form, form just really quick, fast paced. But the the streaming service 
is good. It's okay. It, well, it's okay <laughs> to good. Okay, I'm being a bit lenient, a bit, you know, generous, a bit shilling. You know, you never know where I'll be one day. Uh, it's, and, yeah, no, it's good in that it offers live HD, well, near enough to HD content. But. But. <laughs> there is a but. There is a but. I don't think but. <laughs> it's a fucking gigantic ass. It hits you in the face. The price, one. You're looking at £14 UK money for a month, which you could sign up for DDT, All Japan, and probably Big Japan for that purpose. And it doesn't have the range of wrestling to warrant that. And, and lack of content. Lack of content. The website design is out of it's date. Different. It's different. Okay, you don't have to... I'll, I'll do it. Don't worry. It's, it's out of date. It's... Um, this is all my own opinion, by the way, before if, if anyone wants to sign mm-hmm. it, try and get, hear this in the future. Um, no yeah, arguments from, from me, day. by the way. It's, um, yeah, it's not the easiest to navigate by any means. You're trying to find a show. I I've, 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 I had it for a, I had, I used to have it for a while, and then me and LK signed up again not long ago. Um, but I'd had it previously, so I had a pretty good understanding of how it worked. But... It's not the easiest to navigate. There's no clear. It's not the same format as HBWTV or NJ World, and that everything's clearly sort of, well, at least somewhat clearly set out. It's you've got to click on stuff to find a show, and then you've got to press play. But then it gives you to another list of something, and so you'll get the hang of it eventually, obviously. But yeah, but we had to watch that show last time. I was, I was like, uh, which show am I supposed to watch? Yeah, but <laughs> if we talk about the actual wrestling. Consistency wise, of consistency of matches, it's, you're not going to find a better promotion for like if you just want to watch, if you want to not be disappointed by any match, Dragon Cage is probably the promotion for you because the, they run a lot of multi man tags and it's excellent for multi man. So very fast paced, consistent wrestling. You can watch a two hour show, can basically have really almost nothing bad in it in that aspect and they've got a lot of young guys coming up ben k kz big r yeah they got a lot of young guys coming coming up who um Ata, of course um who are sort of coming up um but they're a little bit stubborn with their booking um <laughs> well yoshino oh, you, know, you know back in the day i mean that's that's they getting so frustrated at, at the booking yeah it felt if yeah, I'm not, I don't. I wouldn't insult them, and I'm not saying this is an insult, but it's, it's like, oh fuck it, I'll say it. It's not like you're watching, you know, a W show. You, I wasn't getting that, you know, hyper It's stubborn. It's stubborn. It's like I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Not yet, buddy. Not yet. No, yeah, like pat on the back. It's like, oh, you nasty son. <laughs> Another thing again, not on the product itself or the content of the wrestling, but. This is, I don't know, this only applies to a few people, but if you're like on Twitter and you like talking about talking to people, like live tweeting shows and stuff like that, Dragon Gate's somewhat sort of on its own island in that aspect. You're not going to be logging onto your TL during a Dragon Gate show and there's going to be floods of live tweets about it. There's, <laughs> there's, <laughs> I know um, some of the more notable GIF accounts since Pack has gone there sort of hopped on it more a bit, but um, apart from that, you're going to, sort of um you're yeah, gonna be sort of on your own a bit in that aspect but uh there are people who still I, I tweet live shows sometimes um but yeah but in regards to wrestling the wrestling is excellent they have some excellent main events their corrigan shows attendance is usually always really good and um, oh attendance wise they're the best yeah. out of all of this by a shadow of a doubt but they, yeah. they, well, well, they claim to have you know these attendance and dragon gate are Famously known for adding a couple of zeros on to uh, <laughs> their attendance numbers. Yeah, they shouldn't. Yeah, they're supposed to not be doing that anymore. But, I can get uh, out here stunned for Instagram. I guess that depends on to what extent you believe them. But um, I think oh, full. you rarely see it. You do rarely see it unless they do a big, big, big build. A car can. Uh, yeah, and, and sometimes at car can be CCs, but the majority of the time, I think out of all the six or seven we're going to be talking about here, they definitely have consistently wise attendance the best out of the lot Dragon they're on they for, yeah for what they should do i don't know i don't know it depends on a question of attendance for i mean like they're they're with gayora like they should be doing 
it's kind of attendance number. really really so it's it's like saying oh look at new japan standards <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's kind of <laughs> um not to take it away from them, they did really good. No, I was more just in talking about the attendance in the crowd. The crowd's usually really good. The, the Corrigans always deliver, especially the main events. Main events are usually some kind of multi-man tag, and they're usually fucking wild. Um, Yamato has maybe been the best tag wrestler on the planet for the last God knows how many years, so it's kind of hard to miss them. But yeah, young ta- basically what I'd say, as long as they're not stopping with their booking, up-and-coming young talent is the reason to get on to... Um, during gay, what I would say is don't sign up for pack would be my advice. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't, yeah, don't sign up for pack, sign up for like when you sign up, go and look out for the younger talent, like the ones we're talking about here, KZ, um, Ben K, Big R. Like, look yeah. out for them, see which ones of them you click with, who you like, and sort of follow them because they're barring anything dumb, they should be coming up as the next. And that's an interesting story, seeing young talent progress. It's it's an interesting time for Dragon Gate. Not enough people are talking about it, I don't think. I think we don't do a good enough job talking about ourselves. We don't we don't talk about it very often because then again, yeah, all Japan, have, Japan have a show every day, so it's a bit difficult. Yeah, I guess it's t- it's just like I used to watch Dragon Gate when I was younger and used to enjoy it, but Dragon Gate has never been never been my favorite promotion. It's never been my favorite promotion. I really like it. I used to like it a lot, but it's never been my number one promotion. So I've never, it's hard to just like, I think there's a lot of re- the wrestling and the standard of wrestling, they put on some excellent main events. Consistency wise, it's really great. Um, it, they have a lot of good wrestlers, but obviously they lost Seema, they lost Shingo. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. like, I don't want to be critical of them because I think if you signed up to them, you're going to really enjoy the wrestling and you're probably like, there's some, there's like, it's almost like, um, Dragon Gate is very easy to get hooked to. Like some people, when they see Dragon Gate for the first time, they see that style of wrestling, like, holy shit, what is this? Yeah. And then they just watch that. Then they just think, why did I not start watching this sooner? So that's why I'd say give it a go. But for a lot of people, it's just like, it's kind of hard to invest in because this, it's, you feel you wrestling, don't, you know, wrestling's more than great wrestling. Is the word, so. <laughs> like, you're yeah. not guaranteed to pay yeah. Wrestling's more than great wrestling. I don't. That's what I was gonna say. Like with Dragon Gate, I've always liked it as a promotion. But when you said it has not ever been your favorite promotion, I can definitely agree with you because, like for me, it's been always kind of like you said, missing something. And I think that might be it. Yeah, my favorite wrestlers never wrestled for Dragon Gate. <laughs> like it's the way I'd put it. Yeah, that's the thing with Dragon Gate. They kind of very rarely minus what Kai. They don't really bring in talent from elsewhere. Yeah, they use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's they don't yeah. go elsewhere. You're either Dragon Gate or you're not. It's on an island. Dragon Gate's very much on an island, but but it's very popular in Japan. Um, so and the wrestling, as we say, is very great, very consistent, and the bigger shows are usually very good. Um, very, very, very long, but very good. Long, yeah. But um, no, the, there was sort of a period last year where there was the main events were really slowing down. It seemed like nothing was happening because basically Yoshino's title reign became a little stale and then basically because he knew he was about to lose the title he went and just had two absolute bangers in a row one with ben k then this when he lost the title to pack um pack's reign is going to be short-lived i imagine <laughs> um, looks like it but um <laughs> yeah, okay. no. is it, it, it maybe like, or casey on the way out that's got to be the got to be the the, the situation yeah. maybe maybe my advice if i'm because i'm not trying to i don't work for dragon gate maybe if i'm going to be honest maybe my advice to you would be go look at some matches elsewhere see if you'd like it and then try it because it's, at the end of the day it's 14 quid like is, <laughs> like obviously it's, it's not expensive yeah. but for the time of the of the year you know 15 quid is a lot to spend compared to like six pounds for all japan who put out more content like we could sign up for all japan ddt and big japan in the price of dragon gate yeah like and- i'm a I'm a student, 15 quid a month to be spending on wrestling, which is what, 15 times 12? Like, it's like. Uh, so far, 70 quid a year, man. Yeah, but like. Just, so you've got, you've got to warrant it. You've got to have investment. But look at matches on YouTube. Check out. Uh, God, I guess what I could find. Could do it. I don't want to. From, check uh, out some Mochizuki stuff. Check out some yeah. Yoshino, Yamato, Keizy. Check out Keizy Mochizuki from Karakan. Check out Pack Yoshino. Uh, this is more modern stuff. The older stuff's excellent, but stick to the modern stuff most predominantly. But yes, that's Dragon Gate, I guess. Yeah, good stuff. 
Um, now, now let's go to um, let's go to DDT. Let's go to DDT. Um, now this again, we're just going to talk about DDT. If you sign up to their streaming service, get no affiliation with any of these at all. It's just if we're doing a guide, we want to sh tell you how you can fucking watch the shows. And sorry for having a fucking brain, um, but DDT, their archives is decent, not great, decent. So there's still some archives on the site, but for the amount of content you get, the DDT is astronomical. Best, like, it's it's the best wow. streaming service. Let's it's, insane. Insane. it's the best streaming service. It, it's insane. Dude, they have DDT on there, which they do shows all the time. Tokyo Joshi Pro, regular shows. Pricing Basara, Gambra Pro, DNA when they come back, which is like a, an equivalent of an NXT. Dude, it's fire. And, and the thing is with DDT, the stigma of it's comedy wrestling. Yeah, there's two talents, Antonio Honda. And oh, his fucking name. Give his, give me what? Dino. 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 Yeah, they're not the only ones to do comedy, but uh, yeah, but when I mean comedy, as in like you know stuff where you're taken out of the match. I remember someone. Of, yeah, someone once said to me, um, "DDT is WWE if WWE was good." That's <laughs> 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 how someone said to That's me. Really yeah. good. That's what someone has said to me. It's lots of different characters. It's all about characters in DDT. That's what it's all about. It's all about characters. That's you've got to have, like, you you can't just like there's there's a guy there called Tetsuya Endo who's an incredible worker, great work rate. But for a while he just had nothing to him, and there was to go like it's all about it's all about character work there. It's all about that kind of stuff. If you like characters, you like stuff. So if you if you've seen one or two things like about the jerky stuff, ignore it. Cause it's not a lot of that. They put on some match of the year candidates all the time. Um, like Shuji Shikawa wrest wrestled there for a very long time. Like, do you really think Shuji Shikawa is going to be doing <laughs> like putting his pants down and then fighting the <laughs> girls? Yeah, no. So it's just a range. Like you watch, if you watch DDT Korok, and you're gonna get some comedy stuff. You're gonna get some more serious stuff. You're gonna get some more like almost getting into not quite deathmatch wrestling, but like um, the more like more into that sort of area stuff. There's, it's just a range. It's like, it's just like, it's a circus. It's, it's crazy. It's just, it's, it's hard to follow. I, like I feel if I, if, if, I, if I didn't do the show and, and you know, I was like, okay, you know, I'll, if I had two promotions that, okay, if I had two promotions I had to follow, uh, there wasn't new Japan as a fan, I would pick DDT. And I, I'd pick Ultra. There, there, there would be the two I'd pick, and that, that would be like a full time job. Like it's, it's absolutely crazy. It'd be a full time job trying to keep up with it all. Um, but the shows are bangers. Um, Konosuke Takashita, um, he is the ace of the company, and is fucking amazing. <coughs> Excuse me, one second. <coughs> he's generally amazing. Yeah, he's not. So, I guess we could call him the ace. He's, he's like the up and coming ace. I guess in the sense that he's. If you want an NJ World comparison, he's the Okada Harashima's the Tanahashi the Ace. Yeah. Yes, but Takashi, mm -hmm. he's going to be the deck. He's going to be the one. Um, but yeah, he's a phenomenal wrestler. Um, but they've got a lot. They've got a lot of really good. Tetsuo Endo, I think, is the best for work rate wise. I think he consistently delivers better than more than anyone else. Um, so Zaki, he's Zaki, the he stepped up the, as champion. He's the current KOD champion. Um, but yeah, it's just a. But then even, but we're not just plugging DDT. We're plugging DDT Universe, and then you've got Basara who put on some, who just put on really great matches. Sami Kadoka, um, Fuminara Abe, like just really consistent, really good wrestling. Lots of mat wrestling, lots of really good. If you like more technical stuff, that's the stuff for you. And then obviously they got um, TJP Tokyo Joshi Pro for some Joshi wrestling. Like we need to watch more. Of that. We need to watch more of that. Hundred percent. 100% need to watch Tokyo Joshi Pro. Yeah, it's it's a really it's a Good it's, and the the stream service I think is done very well. It's very professional. It's so um, easy, literally. This is streamlined. Literally, you go on the page. It says new videos, next like upcoming live streams with dates on, and it, you click on the show, and, and the show's there. You know, in on the side, it just gives you DDT, TJP, Gamble Pro, Basara. You click it. You click what, what what company you want to watch, and it literally comes up in order of of date, you know, chronologically. Like how much fucking simpler can you get? It's simple, 
the pitch quality is quick, banging. simple, effective to the point. Yeah. I mean, hundred percent, hundred percent, and it's it's and the big shows to me anyway feel like big, big, big shows because they do a lot of you know K halls, they do a lot of these smaller shows, but when they get these big shows, they feel like a big deal. I don't know if you guys get that vibe from DDT. No, I can definitely agree with that. I can agree with that one hundred percent. Right. So that's some recommendations. Go check out DDT, Turkish Shitter. Um, let's move on to, to one which I'm sure is going to get very heated very fast. <laughs> let's move on to um, Pro Wrestling Noah. Oh, here we go. Uh, favorite. Uh, so they are owned... Uh, no, we talked about this, I think, the other day on the think on the Noah, because obviously Pro Wrestling Noah have quite a lot of shows. They do a lot of shows. Um, but about three or four of them a month, they tape. Um, and they're not live, well, a couple are, but they're not live, so sometimes we have to wait quite a long period of time so we find out the results, which is frustrating, but it is what it is, no knock, it's just how it is. They're owned by, okay, SB Co. Limited, bought in 2016, because we're talking about who owns them the other day. And they don't have a streaming service, so to mm. follow Noah, okay, so to follow it is easy, because you watch four, three shows a month, that's it. And their main shows. But when you watch them, you really like it. You love the style. You love the company. You love the talent. You like the booking. And you can't watch it. And you're willing to pay for it. Dude, we, 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 we all three of us said, if no, I had a stream service, all three of us would buy it right now. How many thousands of people who we're following on social media would do the same? It's they they hundred percent they'll be all over it like a rash. It's but again, I don't want to pick on them because it's not their fault. I believe it's because of the company, the TV deal, things like that. But at the same time, losing income, well, not losing income because who knows the cost of running one, but not making tape and not trying to grow when they're growing, like not taking that risk. What's your thoughts on it? Hmm. Um, well, you know, I'm. Well, you go ahead. Yeah, Jackson, this, you're, you're, yeah you, you the Noah man, so you go ahead. Okay. Uh, what do you want? My thoughts on Noah as a whole, or thoughts on the streaming service? And we'll, then we'll break down Noah because okay. the streaming service is the the streaming service is if you listen to what the, the previous channel that we did, and um, or even the videos we've done on Coco Sports so far, but. It's we we talk about it so much. It's almost it's I don't know how else to put it. Um, Dude, I want if I could, I would talk about it every single ship, whether whether it's covering all Japan DDT. I don't even care if it's covering W. The show should end with no one should have a streaming service because they should. Money's left on the table. Money. Yeah, it's it's just a tough thing. To, it's just like it's uh, easy for me. How do you it's easy. argue something that isn't happening? Is it almost? Like, <laughs> like, it's not like a word debating over a booking decision. <laughs> like, it, it's... you're 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 English with like myself, so so you'll get this reference. Like, on, only fools and horses. Everyone should go watch it. Please tell me, Patrick, you watched only fools and horses. I know, yeah. This time next year, we'll be millionaires. Is the line that Del Boy Troy uses. Very great show. Everyone should watch. It's on Netflix UK if you have Netflix, and if you have Netflix US, use Yola to convert yourself to, to English and this time next year we will have a NOAA streaming service I think we, that's what we probably got we will have a NOAA streaming service at some point yeah I think I can't it's I think they're basically what the for those who don't I guess some people don't know like what NOAA is just coming out of like um, so basically for those who are Shall I break it down quick? I can do it pretty quickly, I guess. Yeah, so for those who um, maybe remember a while ago, um, who only follow New Japan, uh, it was New Year's Dash. Um, it was just after Wrestle Kingdom 11. Um, and they were talking about how Suzuki Gun returned because they've been banished to Noah. Basically, this is basically says New Japan, basically, Jado, whatever, how do you pronounce it? Not Gado, um, basically took a Jado, whatever, um, basically took over the booking at Noah and ran a Suzuki gun, um, angle where Suzuki gun were like the lead faction in Noah and they would basically dominate everything. And 
it was they killed all their like basically destroyed all their like actual homegrown talent and it was just a fucking mess and it basically when we say it almost killed noah it genuinely almost killed noah. Yeah, I know people used to hate that. i remember reading shit about that on twitter yeah. when it was happening and it's you know just, yeah, uh, yeah. Not knowing what was going on because we didn't have the, you know, eye on Noah like I wanted to have an eye on it. But uh, I was like, oh, okay. That, from the outside looking in, it's like, oh, Suzuki going over this there. That this looks is, cool, it basically but it's not. almost destroyed it. Like, when I say almost destroyed, like, I'm being literal about this. Like, it was really terrible. It was terrible booking. They killed all the t- talent, basically. It was just a complete mess. Oh, wow. So, so what you tell what so Patrick, yeah. what you're telling me pretty much is, t- t- in your your version of Suzuki, was pretty much what they were to you, what the elite was to me this ha- past year. That was it's pretty much times that by a billion. It's not a lack of interest. It's imagine your lack of interest plus business was plummeting, and when That's I say point. plummeting, I mean plummeting. Um, um, Korokan show. Uh, I just remember watching the Korokan show, and like there was no. Okay, the so the, the, when you were watching it a little bit after, you were watching the Nakajima ring, which was just after that, basically when um this was sort of like the Nakajima Ace run, and um yeah, basically Nakajima's Ace run is obviously Nakajima's been around for a while. Nakajima's a veteran at thirty years old. Would you believe it? Um, and they went with him as the heavyweight ace, and attendance struggled, but. This wasn't necessarily a comment on Nakajima because Nakajima was excellent. There's more of a comment on just where they were. You could have put the greatest restaurant on the planet, whoever that was. It, it was. It, there may have been stuff. Miyahara and Okada were the two champions at the time, so that may have maybe had a slight impact. But I don't. It's, I may, it might be wrong. It's more to do with where they were at. So they had to come from that. Mm-hmm. Then that slightly got us. To more to where we wanted to be, where they need to be. And then Keno won Global League, and that shot interest up because it was a new guy who was screaming, I'm going to take you fuckers to the, back to the Budokan, which is obviously quite an impactful thing to say. <laughs> um, he was just, and he was, and he won the title from um, Eddie Edwards, who had. Um, and that hey, was what are your thoughts on that, by the way? Because I wasn't really, you know, we weren't really communicating at the time. So, what are your thoughts on him winning that championship? That was it. That was that was the catalyst, basically. This, that's why anyone and everyone is raving. That's why so many people are calling Noah. I'm not saying it's on Keno. I'm just saying that was the catalyst for what then occurred. I'm not saying everyone's calling Noah promotion of the year on Twitter because of Keno. I'm saying that victory was monumental. Kind of, it was it, it was it was pretty big, yeah. Um, and then Keno's reign was cut short, and everyone started freaking out because they thought, oh shit, no, I've done again. Only for Sugiora to have one of the best GHC title runs of all time. Um, he then dropped it to Kimi, and now finally attendance after f- getting away from the Suzuki gun era is finally getting to where it needs to be. Especially what the point I'm making is, the reason perhaps they're not going with Strube and Tillage yet is because the boat is still rocking. We're not at sure, we're not quite on land yet we're not <laughs> if that makes sense we've boarded the ark it's seas have started to calm and attendance <laughs> is up attendance is way if people you hear people on twitter saying attendance isn't that much up it no it is it is <laughs> it really is um things are starting to get there and that's when things are even more steady and attendance even more proves that they consistently run show after show after show with great attendance and it's in that place again then they'll they will get a streaming service, I think. It's, like all Japan, like all Japan, like all Japan. Like Japan. Great, that's where we're looking at it. Okay. it was, it's very similar to that. Um, so the, more, so the more I watch support Noah, means the, the fingers crossed the closer we'll be to to getting that beloved streaming service. And look, I'll tell you what, in it that much is in terms of the wrestling, oh. it is my favorite promotion on the planet. The wrestling is ridiculous. The juniors. Daisuke um, Harada is just could be the best wrestler on the planet. To be honest, he's a fucking it's guaranteed to be the best junior heavyweight on the planet. Like the, period. Yeah. Fact. The the he, won, he, won, is, he won the IPW junior. Yeah, I just saw that. I just retweeted the picture with him. Yep, I was I gifted out just a couple hours ago. Um, did you watch it live? Was it I did. Yeah, it was on their Facebook. Yeah, um, free. Correct. 
Fuck um, me, so fair play, yeah, good. Out, yeah, um, put up. Um, no, really, really excellent junior division, really well booked. Um, really, they make Harada look like an absolute star of his reigns. Katara Suzuki came in and did what he needed to have to do. They've got so much depth of talent in that junior division. Um, and then this is basically kind of what separates it for me from all Japan, just in case they've got not only an excellent heavyweight division, but an unbelievably great junior division. So there's very um, little room for stuff you don't like. And then obviously the main event scene. Oh, I, 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 I didn't put Noah in my top two, but it, it definitely comes a solid third. But their the main top end of their card, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. The best main event scene out of any promotion anywhere in the world. It's ridiculous. Without a, the top five wrestlers, like top six, is just top unbelievable. Ten, dude. Dude, top, top end is so yeah. fucking great. Dude. The top end, like that absolute best best, is unbelievable. So yeah, you're always going to get an amazing, brutal main event. The style of you're on Twitter, you've probably heard about some of the matches that have taken place this year because they're probably ridiculous. The wrestling is ridiculous. And that's the, not even including uh, freelancers that they use. Yeah, they've just brought in Yuji Hino. Um, Which is, you know, the freelancer that you need. Only freelancer that you ever need is Yuji Hino. There's so. very little to criticize about what they're producing and in terms of actual wrestling right now. This is, the story ongoing is basically the, the it was, well, it basically was the young generation trying to overtake the old generation. Now Kiyomira is champion. That's basically already happened. And now it's all about Kiyomira and his run to try and become the ace and other guys within there. Yeah, it's it's a very, in terms of the most important, what's most important in terms of Japanese wrestling within each promotion, now is very important for Noah. If you want to like, like get into something that's sort of part of, it's going to sound ridiculous here, but part of history in terms of Japanese wrestling, um, now if you want to be like looking into that Noah, because... And I mean, we're not, you don't have to pay for anything. You're just watching a few shows. Follow Asami on Twitter. She's basically kind of like the, the yeah. Western No representative. Yeah. yeah, she's like the Western No representative. And there's basically no account like her for any of the promotion I can think of. So, um, so yeah, no, it's, it's excellent. Literally, the only criticism is they have a, they don't have a um, streaming service really. And I mean, you don't have to pay any money. So, yeah, watch uh, it. What about this for an idea? When we start doing these, uh, well, when we start, we already do. When we do Noah and show reviews where they're not got a streaming service, but we watch the show, I'm thinking maybe putting a link in the description box where everyone can go watch it. Yeah, of course, we definitely should. Yeah. Um, I think that should go forward when I'm There's so many different ways to watch it. Even if you don't want to watch the full shows, there's, there's, there's channels. Um, <laughs> yes, channels on YouTube. Uh, uh, Gabagool. Um, Gabagool, right, yep. Um, who is something like Dad? something valley driver on twitter um he um basically uploads individual matches to his youtube the real hero rootube um if you know that uh, account um they upload there's, there's plenty of ways to watch it it's just a, it's just an amount thing because obviously there's only so much you can if you're not as invested as i am it's kind of like if you're seeing on twitter that this guy's just won the ghc title before you actually get to watch it then that sort of takes away from the enjoyment slightly i got Hold on, okay, I got to ask Patrick this question since I don't think I'll ever be able to ask him this question again. And it pertains to a certain championship that Noah had, but they don't have any more. GHC Open Weight Hardcore title. <laughs> Thoughts on that, though? Um, yeah. <laughs> Thoughts in what aspect? <laughs> I mean, it's your personal feelings on it. I mean, it, it, it's for someone who hasn't really, who, who knows nothing about that title, what's like a short summary that you could probably just say about it? Um, it kind of sounds like what it is. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think, like, I remember... Um, is it kind of, kind of like the never open weight a little bit? Um, so, I mean, the last... Um, it's been hasn't been around for like kind of to like ten years, surely. Yeah, ten years, man. Yeah. So, um, guess you could I look like. At... I just like the fact that they called it the uh, the Akiyama uh, white belt because it was the only belt that they had was white. That was the only reason I wanted to just bring it up. 
Because I, I think Kenta Kobashi was the last champ. There's different think. rules about it, I believe, like things in terms of like size and stuff like that because of the open weight stuff. So like, I don't know, it's complicated. I can't, I can't remember. But there, I definitely remember there being some kind of like rules, like if a smaller guy faced a bigger guy, like if a junior faced a heavyweight, like something like that. But uh, you'd have to research it yourself. I can't yeah. off the top of my head. I, I'll be honest, I can't really remember. But that's nothing to worry about in the current promotion. <laughs> so yeah, you don't have to worry about that belt now. It's It's retired. Yeah. Right. So there's Noah. Great promotion. I'm gonna go watch it. He's sideways. Um, what do you, What are your feelings on the current champions right now, though? This the who are yeah. holding the belts? So you got K- Kaito Kiyomiya, very young guy. He's fucking my age. Fucking absolutely insanity. Um, he's incredible. And he's gonna be a star. You got fucking Keno. You got just Nakajima. You got Go Segura. Go, yeah, Go Segura, Marafuji, who's just come back from injury. He's coming back on February the 6th. The sort of sense of the feeling is he's going to challenge Kimir. Oh, Kimir's going to be a, Kimir's gonna gonna be a on the same day against either Kotoje or Kit- Kitamir, who's incredibly underrated, really good big guy. He really is. Yeah. That's it. I hope he wins, and I hope we get him versus Kimir for the, for the, for the belt. I, I think, think that'd be a bang. I think that's the way we're going. I think we're, we're going for... I think my prediction is Marafuji's going to take it off Kiyomir. He says he doesn't want to retire uh, anytime soon anymore. So he wants to make sure Noah on top um, before he retires. So even though he's pretty damn beat up, <laughs> he's going to give it his all. So that, that to me implies one last GAC run for Marafuji. That'll be good. Hopefully he uh, goes... I doubt we'll be in the Champions Carnival this year, though. Uh, if anyone wants to go, he definitely won't be. I can. I. I think I know who's going to be his replacements. Um, I think o- o- Kabayashi, um from Big Japan. Um, you know, from Strong Beach. I think he's pretty much a lock for it because obviously him and Sakimoto have just won the tag titles. Um, Sakimoto, depending on how many belts he has, could be a good show. Yeah. Shit, as of uh, as of like as of right now, everybody's held their titles for a full month. So yes, forward, but Okabe actually like a hundred percent. I'll be in it. I would bet anything on that. Um, trying to think who else uh, possibly. Yeah, it could be um, Yuji Hino will probably be in it again. Um, yeah, possibly. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Of maybe someone else. From, maybe Kohei Sato was a good show. Um, That's it. Yeah, yeah, but definitely Okabayashi. I think, like, I'm pretty sure of it. That's fair to be a lock. That's fair to be a lock. Um, but I'm interested to see what they do with Keno next as well. History yeah, he's my favorite wrestler, so I'm obviously interested. Um, obviously, <laughs> he's now had three GRC title shots, but he's all lost. But at the same time, they do very, do a very good job of protecting him outside of that. So it's gonna be interesting. People in the know. Uh, like no notes are like very sure there's going to be a Keno versus Marafuji big Keno Marafuji match this year so it could be title sharp but we will see um yeah right let's get on to some we'll get these are the two death match companies uh, we don't cover them very much only because they're lack of shows we could be depending on what this big with that so We'll start with Big Japan, um, believe it or not. Um, and it's a company, obviously, there's a strong division in the deathmatch division. You've got your strong heavyweight champion of Daisuke Sakamoto, deathmatch heavyweight champion Masaya Takahashi. This company is insanity. Um, I used to despise deathmatch wrestling for passion until I watched the Jean Kasai and Takeda match from Freedoms, which we'll talk about next. And Japanese deathmatch wrestling is unlike anything I've ever seen in my life generally it's storytelling it's amazing you're on an emotional ride through 20 to 30 minutes like absolutely <laughs> brutal stuff they have a uh, streaming service called bgw core core it's quite cheap that's about six pounds something uk money is about seven bucks us but they're currently up for refurbishment and set to do a relaunch now with BGW Core, I never signed up because the content was really dated and you didn't get much of it. So if they become live, if it, even not even that, even if they upload more shows on a regular basis, this boy will be signing up for it. And you <laughs> heard it here first. Patrick, yeah. awesome, or BGW. Okay, so BJW, in theory, 
if it had live streaming service, would maybe be my favorite promotion um, because I love deathmatch wrestling, and I think the strong division is excellent as well. Like really great wrestling. Like honestly, if if you like deathmatch wrestling, you like really good wrestling. Like if you know who Hideki Suzuki is and stuff like that, mm-hmm. then sign go on BJW Corks. It's it's really it's excellent. It's just a shame the streaming service is so bad. <laughs> It is. It is. It's, it's. We just hope this refurb when they relaunch at the end of the month, we get this revealed live. Some on demand, some live. It's all I'm after. Don't ask much. Don't ask much. It's all I'm after. Um, put, D, I'll put it this way: Noah doesn't have a streaming service, and it's a better streaming service than BJW Com. <laughs> Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather not have Noah's streaming service than have BGW Core. Yeah, that's brutal. Uh, D, any thoughts on uh, Big Japan? And uh, did you oh. watch, guys? What show um, was it? We have got a private group chat where we talk about you know the oh, shows. Shit, yeah, no, 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 no. Honestly, I'm not. I'm not plugging it enough. It really is like maybe the best consistency of wrestling on the planet because the the death matches are incredible and the strong division always delivers. They've had the best show of the year so far by fucking country mile. Um, what, what show, which, which I haven't had to see that show the yet. Show, the second of January. Um, Just so January. Moto versus Hammer, and then Takeashi versus Gamoto. Um Yeah, really excellent. It's two match the year candidates in one show. Um, the main event's fucking how, how, wild. How, how, how long was the show, dude? How long was it? I don't know. I can't, I can't remember, but it, everything's good on it. Like everything's everything's good. They've got. Good. We got. Taki Unamura, who is going to be... If you don't know who Taki Unamura is now, you will in three or three years or so. He's going to be the next. People have compared him to Shibata. Like, he's... <laughs> oh, for me. Um, and did all, have all of you watched that Zero One show? I have indeed. Yes. How long was it? Two hours. Two hours. Dude, tomorrow, what time What time do you have lectures tomorrow, P? <clears throat> uh, no lectures. What was that? No lectures. No lectures. Should we right. say? Should we say twelve p.m. UK time? Should we do that zero one show? Twelve p.m. Yeah. yeah 12 p.m. Hmm, that could be interesting. Because uh, there's. Cause I, I, I'm I'm off at two o'clock. At two o'clock, I've got a oh, about half past one. Yeah, I've got to leave because I'm going. I'm t- I've got to revise, and there's. I late is better for me. Later, how yeah. how late are we talking? Maybe like, midnight. Like what we've done tonight. Okay, because uh, I I because the only issue is the day after I start work at seven a.m. Uh, oh, because I'm on a four. But then I got the day. I, but then I can again sleep. I'll be fine. So I'll just sleep. We'll, we'll, we'll come talk back about it. We'll talk about it. Yeah, we'll talk yeah. about it. I'm, I know I'm doing a uh, review from the New Japan uh, Fantastic Mania show with Janet tomorrow at some point. So when, when, when did that show take place? Uh, it's, it's coming out in the morning. It's tomorrow it's live. Dude, what time is it live? Our time? You, you, do you know when you watch Trangate? That's going to be live. And it's on <laughs> Sports as well. And someone will be streaming it. So it's up to you. Mm. you Most people are saying they're more hyped for Trangate than they are for Fantastic Mania, I guess. Mm. I don't know, though. It's tough. Because I am I pay for New Japan Awards. I'm like, I like getting more value for my money, if that makes sense. Um, what what, what time's it air in live UK time? Is it 9.30 as normal? I think so. Yeah, it's about four a.m. here. So yeah, that's a good, yeah, that's a good call. Oh, are you even live after S? Oh uh, shit, we might we can see because I'll Cause I'm it, up. If, if you're live after S. I I can go. I can one hundred percent go live after S. And then we could do the the zero one show in the evening. Shit. Well, this uh this message. I know uh yeah. Well, this message because I know uh I think Jenna might have. Yeah, if no one's streaming it, if no one's streaming Dragon Gate, I'll watch. Um, if no one's live streaming Dragon Gate, I'll watch Fantastic Mania, but I, I want to watch Dragon Gate, ideally. Okay, well, if, if you do watch it, um, I've got for, I've got um, Thursday, I've got Thursday after 4pm, I'm free and I'm not doing anything. I'm just going to calm home, sleep for a couple of hours, and then I've, I've spent not enough time watching wrestling. I've, I've been too busy getting out partying like Ric Flair. I need to chill out and <laughs> calm myself down give my liver a break i will not be drinking an alcohol shit, okay i'm just picturing you with the bleach blonde hair and now and it's all feathered with the fucking aviators and shit exactly, exactly. um oh, 
Um, yeah, I so, like yeah, Big I need- Japan, though. I like Big Japan. Man. It has a mixture of everything, dude. It has fucking um, deathmatch-style wrestling. has hard-hitting, strong-style action. I think it has a little bit of every- for everything for everybody. And it's, I it's a phenomenal it promotion. Honestly, it really is a phenomenal promotion in terms of wrestling. I think it really is. Like, it's... I don't know. It's, it's weird that it's not talked about in that aspect. Well, it is in some circles, but it's it's not it's it's phenomenal like the strong division always delivers the deathmatch stuff now but they've got now they're pushing like Takeda and stuff like that like obviously he's just Takeda's in my, in my opinion the best wrestler on the planet like it's like it's ridiculous right let's yeah, get some sure reasons to sign reasons to watch big japan Takeda should have been the, the just the, the bullet point <laughs> um <laughs> Ed Levenham says, "Good evening, gents." So, no. Uh, Bradley Casty says, "I'm gonna ha- I'm gonna sound slightly racist. Oh, geez. But have you got? <laughs> but have you got any that have English commentary? The Japanese puts me off. I tried watching Dragon Gate's Open the New Gate and can't find anything. Um, no, no, is the answer. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Sorry. Uh, it's no. But, but go on. I've never watched English commentary on anything." <laughs> <laughs> like I would rather die than listening to English commentary on New Japan, for example. You've got to. My advice would be: to, I don't know how many shows you've how many shows you've watched, so obviously I can't comment for you. But I just keep going. Like it's not. You can't understand it, but just just listen to the shouting would be more. <laughs> the passion in the, in the, the passion. Jazz. Yeah, you don't need to. Um, you don't. The passion translates. I don't speak a word of Japanese, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean. You, Never, I, mean, like, never, I know never, Matsu, and that's about it. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's. I understand it. I don't, like, don't get me wrong. I understand why it's an issue for some because I used to be like that. I don't think you should let it put you off, though. I think you should I, keep at it. I mean, I would say I can't speak for anyone else, but like, especially with the amount of shame. six and eight man tags, and you don't know who they are, and you're struggling. But you know what I used to do, dude? Like, it's probably the best. Exactly. I, I obviously want to take notes. So I'm watching the show where there's some new talent in. I get a cagematch.net. I find the company. You get the non-spoiler card, and it tells you who they are, their background, their history. And when they come out, obviously I take notes. If there's a talent I don't know, I put, so for example, brackets blonde or brackets old or brackets green tights next to the name. That makes sense? Yeah. I mean, I think the problem from my perspective is I'm such a classic millennial, I forget that some people aren't on Twitter and that, and that, and that because I'm like, because I just like know it and I know um, like everyone talks about it all the time. You just like, I don't even think about it. I know the names everyone because everyone talks about it all the time. Like, but I guess if you're just like, if you were literally just turning on and clicking on DT Universe and then going on it, then yeah, there's nothing to tell you who. Um, but if you're on Twitter, follow relevant accounts, follow DT English, Dragon Gate English, All Japan now have an English set up by a guy I know. Um, stuff like that. Like you're gonna you're gonna get like I imagine like when I don't know how long if any if the, if who you're speaking about, I don't know if you said that I can't remember you said the name was, if they were subscribed to NJP World when it first came out back in two thousand fifteen, that was Japanese commentary. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, you just gotta you 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 you'll get it. If you, I wouldn't let that. Um, if that is a deal break for you, then it it is what it is, I guess. But I wouldn't. It to be honest, after a while, I think the more you do, it, you'll probably think, why did I ever care about this? I think would be. I think, yeah, I, I don't even realize. I don't yeah. even realize. Generally, generally don't. Watch, we watch that much, I don't realize. Look, I haven't watched New when I watched New Japan show. I haven't watched Joe English commentary in a year plus. Like, I never watched Joe English commentary. No, it's, I, I do agree. With you. <laughs> You're better off without doing it. I'll tell you. Um, oh, uh, Brady Cassie said, "Also, is DDT good or just generally weird?" I think it's really good. Um, yeah, it's good. It's both. <laughs> um, is Wrestle One still a thing? That's from the Foster Club. Yes, it is. Yes, yes it is. Um, basically, uh, we'll we'll um, Patrick, Patrick, we'll, Patrick, 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 hold, hold, hold. It's raining in the background. Oh, I thought it was housemates having 
bit of fun upstairs. No, it's very <laughs> pissing it down. It sounds like it's pissing it down. Is it? It sounds like it could be um, creaking of a, of a bed. I promise you, it's absolutely pissing it down. They're not even back from the library, so. All right. Um, You're going to be on the Observer tomorrow, dude. Like, guys, podcast. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so Wrestle One, um, a show we're almost definitely going to be covering, which airs on the 21st, main evented by Shotaro Ashino versus T Hawk. T Hawk, if you follow Trend Gate, obviously he was there, never booked correctly, has the perfect look of an ace. But Shotaro Ashino, not recognized enough because Wrestle One's not, doesn't get enough credit, but Ashino is so good. He could be the ace in literally any company on the planet. He's a big guy. Mm-hmm. Kind of a, a pretty handsome guy, excellent wrestler. Just could be the ace of literally any company. You're gonna you, when you see this match. I, I, from what I've heard from people who were there, it was excellent. So it, you're gonna it, piss yourself. Check out our review when we review it. Obviously, we're gonna have the link because they don't have a stream service either. If you just short time, just watch the main event because it's it's. But yeah, Wrestle One is definitely still going, and that is something we cover more because Ashino is. Excellent. They got some, and obviously they have the dip. Well, we don't know because AEW uh, sort of maybe fucking that up. But um, they, um, they yeah. do currently, as far as the stands, have a deal with strong cards. But um, don't you mean the uh, the good hearts? Yeah, they good. call themselves the good hearts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that video haunts me. <laughs> um, Adam Brown says DDT is good. Agree. Adam Brown says, of the New Japan, I like Wrestle One, Big Japan, All Japan, and Dragon Gate. That's a good, very good mix. Yeah, I think sure. it's next one. A bit of green in there and a bit of Noah. Um, Adam Brown says, hey, this is a question for you guys because I won't understand this. Hey, Patrick and Dion, who are you rooting for in the AFC Championship game between the Chiefs or Chefs and Patriots? The Chefs. Chefs. The <laughs> Chefs. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, um, I actually like kind of low key hate both of these teams now I, because the Chiefs. Come on, I'm a Chargers fan. I'm never yeah, he's a Chargers fan. They're I in hate, the same division. I hate Patriots. I hate Patriots. 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 Patsy's uh, the worst, but I'm I'm never gonna root for the Chiefs. Not my, but Patrick. I, I think we might. This is one thing I'm afraid of right here because I know you might you might feel me on this. Um, with the Patriots, it's like okay, Brady. At some point, we don't know when, but he'll go. yeah, yeah he's, he'll go. Whereas Mahomes go. Wins this game, I've got to live under the Mahomes era for the next You're, ten. Exactly, the Mahomes era is underway. So it's yeah, like, don't, don't, don't fucking lose. I'll shut him down now. Shut him down. Now. <laughs> yeah, he said, shut him down. And yeah. you know, it, it, I think we just answered the question without even saying it. So <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Mahomes is like. People always go, how is Mahomes so good? Mahomes is just like the Tiger Woods effect. His dad just let him do nothing but play American football. Absolutely. He was like, if I I let my son do nothing but play a sport since he was three years old, he'd be sick of it. (laughs) The way the cookie crumbles. The way the cookie crumbles. Right, what else we got here? We have um, Adam Brown again. Saying, have you all heard of Battle Arts Wrestling in Japan? Oh, yeah, oh, I love it. I fucking love Battle Arts. If you follow me, Adam, if you follow me on Twitter, I always post clips of Battle Arts. I post full matches sometimes. I fucking love Battle Arts. Uh, Yuki Ishikawa is um, wrestling in WXW during their... Um, he's been announced for it for their... Um, is this a current promotion or an old one? Oh, oh it's an existing Yeah, uh, it, it, it went out of... It went yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. He's, um, yeah, he, um, he, uh, he's been announced... For during their 16 current tournament, I am generally so close to flying out to Germany for it. I fucking oh, love Yuki Ishikawa. He's, I guess, who he's facing. One of the greatest fucking shoot star wrestlers of all time. They put him up against Timothy Thatcher. They could not have oh, picked a perfect what? or perfect matchup. It is going to be fucking amazing. I'm. I know people who want to fly over from America. Like this is that's how. <laughs> Like, yeah, no, I love Ballards. I've, I've, I was, uh, uh, Sour is one of my favorite wrestlers ever. Um, Josh Barnett's have down some guys for Bloodsport. And that's I want to go to that because I think that's okay. Mania Week in New I'll York. So. Mania Week. But I, I've always said I want to go to Mania Week and not actually. Not go to Mania? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Speaking of Mania Week. You can't do that. You can't, oh, you can't go to that. Speaking of Mania Week, like, one of the, for, I don't know if people who are listening know this, but if you were planning on flying out there, and you were looking forward to this match, it's off. Rush um, LA Park is not happening anymore because Rush has signed with ROH. The- what? 
I'm not but I'll probably get to see him because I'll be at the ROH New Japan Supercard yeah, show. So he'll be on that. But Bruce LA Park, which was supposed to take place at MLW's big show, the big the biggest match of many a weekend that everyone's going on about. It's not happening anymore because be, what Bruce is like, I'm not about to lose my hair. Fuck that. He's a coward. Um <laughs> But I'm I'm honestly it's I was put a tweet out earlier saying like with the guys our age are signing, they're like a shitty gymnasium away from me actually watching a show. Like, <laughs> I, I think of that same. I'm like, I'm tempted to start Honestly, watching it. Weekly. Like, they've got Gresham, who I think is the best American wrestler on the planet. Like, he is fucking ridiculous. And if ROH don't recognize the talent that they have in him, they're fucking idiots. They've signed Bandito, who's obviously incredible. Um, and now Roosh, who's maybe the best heel in the world. Like, if they it feels. Like, I think what you're trying to say is, dude, it feels like Ring of Honor. It feels like Ring of Honor, but yeah. they can't. They're not high they can't fuck that roster up. I haven't. They didn't. They, they ran a show recently. Did they? Yeah, on a rain, not on a rain supreme. Yeah. So I, I get confused because it's either a TV taping or it's a house show that's on TV, and then the house show then gets shown on TV, and I, I get fucking confused as fuck. Like it seems simple to me. Make Gresh start Gresham out as your underdog, and then slowly work him up to become like your main star. Like treat him kind of like I don't. I hate comparing stuff to old wrestling, but treat him kind of like Danielson. Like no, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Like, He's so good. He's so good. Um, he should be challenging for the belt, dude. Like, why isn't he? Yeah, and then Bruce is obviously an incredible heel. Just have him be everyone. <laughs> and then I, I can't wait to see who <laughs> Rush's reaction when he gets told he's got to take a loss. Like, <laughs> oh, Russia, Russia would be a banger. That would be a really good Russia. Rush against Lethal. Oh, there could be some good ones. Yeah. Um, yeah, that'll, that'll wrap it up for, for live comment time. We went. And before before that, before we go, this this uh, Ring of Honor, don't ruin like Los and Gobernables either. <laughs> oh, yeah. Please. Yeah, see him out, put a thing out saying he can still work soon because they have a working relationship. So there's no problem there. Yeah. That's good. Um, anything you guys would like to plug before we get out of? Ah, shit. Uh, Pete has talked about all the, all the wrestling shows coming up, so we'll be covering those in some form or fashion. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to them. Yeah. Interesting to go for. There's too much stuff to talk about going forward, because obviously it's the start of a new year. Um, but there's a lot going for, going about to yeah. happen. But, uh, um, which will be easy to... We should do shows where we should just sort of break down what's... Because, like, there's so much about to happen in Old Japan now and stuff like that. But it's almost like we end up talking about it and everything goes ages, so... Um, um, it's, it, dude, dude, it's... This, this channel is, is famous for going wrong. Yeah. <laughs> like, we went the other day, two hours plus, talking it should should we forgive Hulk Hogan? Dude, I'm not joking. We went two hours. Forgive Hulk Oh, because he... He's a racist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One of my coworkers came up to me the other day. It was just like Hulk Hogan's a racist piece of shit. And I'm like, you don't even watch wrestling. He's like, I know. It's like, all right. Thoughts are not of mine. I repeat, thoughts are not of mine. Anyway, so that my guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Seen great growth from the channel recently. Which is great stuff. Um, we'll be back tomorrow with either live Fantastic Media Show recap or Wrestle Sorry Zero One or both. Um, I know Friday I've also got off work, so we'll do some stuff on Friday as well. Um, but looking forward to killing it. I'm going to watch that Zero One show in a minute um, once this video is finished processing and uploading and doing its business. I want to thank you guys for coming on. Hopefully you guys have learned something listening. And if you are tempted to try something out, put in the comments what you're going to try. Tell, it, tell me how it went. Say if it was good, say it was bad. Oh, fuck you. It was great. Fuck you. It was terrible. Either way, just make sure you get comments and make sure you like, make sure you keep sharing it. So, Dan and the guys, thank you for coming on. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe, stay well, and we'll be catching your asses. Down